Well, hello everyone and welcome to Slick Rides Garage. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hydraulically remove a pilot bushing. This is a Duratec 3.0 V6 and it was in this yellow Mazda 6 here. Unfortunately, it wound up having low oil pressure at idle. Alright, so let's talk about the materials I'm using. Wheel bearing grease. This is an old bolt. I cut it down on this edge here with a grinder to get it to fit inside the hole. You see the O-ring on the top of that, and that's just to make sure I get good pushing pressure. We'll take this wheel bearing grease and just start packing it down into the bushing hole there. I want to pack this completely full, because what we're going to do is we're going to use this as a hydraulic ram. We'll push on that grease, and it'll push this pilot bushing out. Just got to remember to fill it up all the way. More than likely, you'll get, find some air back in there. Kind of hear the air popping out of it there. It feels like it's starting to fill up. All right, so now we'll just take the ram here, stick it down in the hole, and let's just see if we've got all of that air expelled out of there. It feels like it could be. Now we'll take our bolt and clamp it up in some vice grips. If there's no air back inside of that, it should go on ahead and start pushing it out of there. Let's see what happens here. There it goes. See it moving? As we're pushing this out, we're adding volume to the chamber behind this. That means we have to add a little more grease here. Okay, so I filled the chamber back up again. It's going to take several tries and continuing to fill up the back side of that through this hole before it's going to push all the way out. filling up the hole and hitting it with the driver, it will eventually come off. Here it goes. There we go. All right, we're good now. Let's see what we can do here. Hands are getting greasy. There we go. Bingo, and there it is. And that's how you hydraulically remove a pilot bushing. Thanks for watching Slick Rides Garage. We'll see you next time.